and today we're talking about the costs of selling your house. So um, there are a few things that you need to keep in mind when you're about to sell your house. Um, sometimes they're unexpected costs and sometimes they're things that you've already thought of, but we just made a short little list just in case. Um, so number one is agent commissions. Um, I think pretty much everyone kind of knows about those. Um, they usually vary from agency to agency, uh, but on average it's about 6%. So you can Go ahead and account for that whenever you're selling your house on you know your price point and all that kind of stuff because that's probably what you're going to be giving away to the agent. Um, so number two is agent fees. So also depending on the agency, sometimes they will pass on things like the marketing fee or the listing fee to the seller. Um, so you'll be paying that instead of them, the agency, all that kind of stuff. So um, again, it depends. So look through the paperwork, look through the contract, but those are little things that uh, people don't think about and can end up costing more money than you had in originally anticipated to spend on this. Um, so number three is closing costs. And these are always fun. No one ever likes to pay them because you never think about them until you are there sitting at the closing table. Um, so it sometimes ends up being things like uh, the title insurance, recording fees, or um, I, I get things like that. And it typically ends up being about 2% of the final sale price. So keep that in mind, keep that math going. Um, and number four is taxes. So um, a lot of people kind of forget about the fact that they still have to keep up the house uh, during the selling period. So just because either you've already moved out and you're still trying to sell the house or you know whatever the situation is, you're still paying for property taxes, you're still paying for utilities, um, insurance, all of those things. Like that's still your responsibility. You're still the home owner. Just because you're trying to sell doesn't mean, or just because you're trying to sell doesn't mean that you can forget about that. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Um, and so number five is preparing the house to sell. Um, we've talked about this plenty of times. Uh, renovating your house before you sell is uh, kind of a necessity nowadays. People kind of expect to buy a house off the MLS that is already in living conditions. So um, whether it be just cosmetic repairs, uh, you know, taking off that wallpaper that you've had for forever, or, you know, fixing that leaky faucet because just because you were able to live with it doesn't mean that the next person is going to want to live with that or want to take care of that on their own. Um, and so number six is inspections. So although this isn't required uh, or really necessary, it is suggested a lot of times and people are doing it more and more often. So getting an inspection before you sell as opposed to getting it whenever you get an interested buyer. Um, the reason that people suggest this is that you can find out any big ticket or even small ticket surprises that might come and instead of having the buyer use that against you as leverage and negotiate the price down, you can go ahead and get that taken care of and, um, and if someone tries to bring it up or whatever, you can be like, mm-mm, I had my own inspection, I know what's going on. Um, and the only thing about inspections is that they range from about $200, so keep that in mind as well. And finally, storage and moving. And we know this isn't technically a selling uh, cost that a lot of people have to consider, but you know, when you are selling your house, all of your stuff has to get out of it. So um, some people don't think about the fact that, you know, oh, I don't have a new place to live yet, I'm gonna have to put this in storage, or they don't calculate that into their, I guess just math in this whole thing. Like a lot of people are only thinking about how much they're gonna be getting out of the property. Um, but so storage and moving, it's not fun, it's not easy, and it is definitely not cheap. So keep that in mind, find someone to help you move if you're trying to like cut back all the money, or uh, I don't know, just be prepared for a big ticket on that. Um, so, but if you are looking to sell your house quick and without any hassle and where you can kind of get rid of all these kind of spending fees, you can give us a call or click the link below and we'll be happy to chat with you, give you a free estimate and all that good stuff. Thanks. See you.